In this video, we'll show you how to transfer NFTs from one wallet to another in Directual by using a scenario. NFT stands for Non-Fungible Token. It's a unique digital identifier that can't be copied, substituted, or subdivided. It's recorded in a blockchain and used to certify authenticity and ownership. Let's create an NFT. To do that, we need a website like Rarible, an aggregated NFT marketplace. I'll use Polygon Blockchain and Trust Wallet to log in. I've just scanned the QR code with my phone and logged in. By the way, I have the same wallet open on my desktop. As you see, it's holding five Matic coins. Time to create our first NFT. Choose Polygon Blockchain. The NFT will just be a picture of a pretty cat. Now let's add a collection. We must confirm the transaction through a wallet when adding a collection. Next, name the NFT and add a description. We check additional settings and, no, it seems we don't need to change anything here. However, we should remove our NFT from the marketplace because we don't want to sell it via Rarible. Actually, if necessary, we can create a marketplace on Directual. Now, click on the Create Item button to get the NFT. While the picture is being uploaded, we confirm the transaction in the wallet. I just did that using my phone. OK, our NFT is ready. We can see the NFT in our Rarible account. We can also check it on Polygon Scan Chain Explorer. Here we can find the contract address, token ID, and so on. Now, I want to create an app on Directual that will send an NFT to all new users who log in via MetaMask. Let's create a new data structure called NFTs. Next, configure that structure's fields. We need three more fields in addition to the ID. These are contract, the token ID, and the flag which confirms that we own the NFT and can transfer it. Save the changes and add a new object. The NFT we just received. Copy the token ID, set the flag to true to confirm that this is our token and NFT, and add the contract address. Save the changes. Logically, the app will require more than one NFT, but we'll limit it to one for testing. Now, go to the Plugins section and add two plugins, NFT and MetaMask. The first lets us manage NFTs using scenarios, and the second allows us to authorize users via MetaMask. Next, set up security in the Web Page section. This will allow new users to register and log in via MetaMask only. Now open the home page. That's the page that users see after logging in. Let's add a simple message saying that a user has received an NFT. Now, set up a scenario to send NFTs to new users. The scenario will work with the app users structure and trigger for all new objects. First, we need to find an NFT to send. This can be done with the search step. By the way, don't forget to add comments to make the scenario easier to work with in the future. The search step will help us find a list of objects from the NFT structure. This list is stored in an array link field. We'll store this field as a context variable and call it NFTs. 
This will be the array link field type for the NFT's structure. Also, add another context variable, a link type this time. This will be the first link from the array. Now, set up the search step. It looks through the NFT's structure and returns an array of links which will be stored in the NFT's context variable. The only search condition needed is that the flag is equal to true, which means we can transfer this NFT to another user. The second step checks that we have found such NFTs, that is, that we still have tokens available for transfer. The NFT's context variable structure field must not be empty. Again, don't forget to leave comments on the scenario. The scenario stops if the result is negative, and if it's positive, the scenario pulls the first object from the array. That is, we assign the NFT context variable with the value of the first element from the array. Turn on coding mode to do this. As we remember, all arrays are stored as strings, separated by a comma. So, to get a JavaScript array, we apply a comma-separated split and take the first element with the number zero. Next, add the transfer NFT step that we added as a plugin and configure it. Select the Polygon network. We're using it now. Next, the private key or secret 16-word phrases. Either option will work. We need access to the wallet that holds the NFT to make the transaction, right? Next, we take the NFT contract from the structure we just found. The receiver equals the user ID. In our case, the user ID is the wallet address. The type is ERC721. We can also save the response from the step and another context variable called NFT result to store the response. This will be a JSON type variable. This step will return the hash of the transaction as a response. We probably don't need it, but it might come in handy. And the last step. If the transfer NFT step was successful, we mark our NFT related object as used, that is, we set the object's isOwner field to false and exit the scenario. Now let's test it. Let's open our app and log in via MetaMask and Polygon Wallet. Note, this is a different wallet, not the one I used to create the NFT. It all works. Let's look at our scenario. We see from the logs that some kind of error has occurred. The logs can tell us exactly what's wrong. There seems to be a problem with the token. Let's check it. Open the NFTs table and examine the token. This is how it looks. We'll check how it appears in the blockchain where we see that it's longer. It just wasn't copied in full. So copy it from the browser address bar. Next, log out of the app and to be on the safe side, delete the user we just created. Go to the app user structure and delete the user. Log in again via MetaMask. Confirm the login and look at the scenario. It takes time to transfer an NFT and confirm the transaction. Everything seems to have worked well. We see from the logs that the step results were successful. Let's check the blockchain and the token. We see that two minutes ago a transaction took place and there's the token that was transferred. Let's check Trust Wallet. I switch to the address I used to register 
Trust Wallet, unlike MetaMask, can show NFTs. And here it shows the same NFT that was just automatically transferred to me when I logged into the app.